Raise your hand if you have a proper backup for your important data. Okay, that's one, two, three. Okay, now keep them raised if you've actually tested restoring your data from your backups to make sure they actually work. That's what I thought. The only good backup is a tested backup. And with the help of this video's sponsor, Synology, I'm gonna show you how I back up my data, both locally and remote, restore data from a failure, and even ensure that my backups are immutable so that a breach on my primary server doesn't take down my entire backup system. And what better way to release this video than on World Backup Day? So some of you may already have a fully fledged out backup plan, but some of you may just be getting started. Let's talk about the three things that you need to consider when building out a backup system. Number one, are your backups efficient? Sure, you could just copy over your files to another set of drives and call that a backup, but in modern systems like Synology, you can utilize snapshots and deduplication, which can reduce the overall size of your backups by analyzing which files can be reduced or compressed, saving you tons of space. Number two, are your backups automatic? This may sound silly, but I know tons of people who actually just back up their data when they think it's important. Yeah, it turns out that like 96.4% of the time that the data loss happens just before those important times. Having the tools in place to make sure you have a trusted, timely backup is crucial to a functioning backup system. Number three, are your backups resilient? Like, yeah, cool, you can have automatic backups with snapshots and replications, and they're all automatic and tuck you into bed at night, but what if you get hit with some ransomware that not only targets your primary data, but your backup system as well? Yeah, not so high and mighty now, are you? Don't worry, we'll fix that. In my personal system, I run a Synology system to back up all of my data from my YouTube footage, photos, PC and Mac systems, legally obtained media, and everything else that will have me featured on the digital version of Hoarders. I do a combination of rsync and active backup for business to get all that juicy data onto there. rsync is cool because you can set it up on pretty much any system and for any file system and transfer data over. But if you want full backups of personal machines, active backup for business is the play. This is by far the easiest and most comprehensive way to back up a computer. All you have to do is have Active Backup for Business running on your Synology system, then download the client on whatever machine you'd like backed up. Then from your Synology system, you can control what, when, and where your backups run. For example, you can see I have three of my personal devices set up, two Windows machines, and a Mac. All of them are scheduled to run at a specific time every day, but if you want them to run on a task, such as when your screen is locked, when you sign out, or on startup, or all of them, you can do that. Then you get to decide how many versions of your backups you wanna keep. I run it every day and keep seven versions, so if we do some mental math, that's um, seven days. A really cool feature they have for a more sophisticated retention plan is to use their advanced retention policy, which lets you keep different versions of your backups for different lengths of time. You can get as wild as you want with these, and you may be thinking, Brett, Seven days worth of backups is not enough. What if you need something from eight days ago? Don't you worry, you'll see a bit later. Now, another cool feature built into Active Backup for Business is the ability to easily recover your data. Simply click on the machine, go to restore, and choose one of the two options, restoring a file or folder, or restoring the entire system. Both are useful in different scenarios. For example, let's say my dumbass deleted a file or a folder by accident. I can go into the file folder restoration, select a version of browse, then find the file and actually push it back to that device all from the Synology interface. Like I don't even have to be on that machine. That shit's so cool. But what happens when your machine blows up from watching too much anime? Well, then you'd restore the entire system. This is cool because depending on what kind of system you're restoring, Active Backup for Business will give you a tool and a user guide on how to create the backup media and restore your system from one of your backups. Yo, honestly, let me know down in the comments if there's actually a better backup tool than this for your personal devices. I did mention that I'm using rsync to backup my main server, which is stored in a regular old folder on my Synology system. Oh no, that means I don't have access to all those cool versions and retentions like Active Backup for Business has. Wrong. With the Snapshot Replication app, 
you can build out a snapshot process on any folder in your system. And check it out, we have the same granular versioning options from Active Backup for Business. But what about restoration now? Again, super easy. I can select the version I wanna use, browse that for the file I want and get it back. Now, remember when I said this? What if you get hit with some ransomware that not only targets your primary data, but your backup system as well? Well, this is where immutable snapshots comes into play. By simply checking this box in your snapshot settings, you can ensure that your snapshots cannot be altered for a specified period of time. And just like that, you're protected from any ransomware that attempts to target your file system and backups. Literally that easy. Well, gee, Brett, that sure is a cool backup system. I'm just so full on your knowledge that I don't think I could possibly take another bite. Let's back up all of our data to an offsite location, because what good is a local backup if it all burns down in a fire or is vandalized? Rhetorical question, it's worthless. Conveniently, my remote backup server that lives at a friend's house is also a Synology system, which means I have a few options for getting my data over there. My app of choice is Hyper Backup because, well, I don't know, I just wanted to try it and it worked well. When setting up a remote system for backups, you can access it one of two ways, over the internet via a public IP address or through a DNS provider, or you can run a VPN client on the remote system that phones home and gets a local IP, which then acts like a local device in your network. I went with the latter here since I think it's a bit easier to just set up your device at home and then drop it off at the remote location. If you go with this method, you don't have to worry about port forwarding or IP address changes. From my local backup system, I can simply enter the local IP of my remote device, then through the magic of the VPN and the Hyper Backup app, my backup will run on whatever schedule I specify. This is where I have that built-in extended backup versioning from my active backup for business machines. They may only have seven days worth of backups locally, but if I need something from longer ago than that, I have the backups from my remote system. Similar to other apps, you have the option to backup specific folders or your entire system. I chose to backup specific folders since there are certain things I don't necessarily need backed up on a third copy remotely. And let's be honest, spending three times the money on hard drives isn't really that fun. This brings me to my next point. I've been talking about having seven days, 30 days, a year worth of versionings on your backups. Surely that means that you're using a crap ton of space. Well, not really. The way snapshots work on here is that each version only stores the changes between each version. So if you have 100 versions, you aren't actually saving 100 copies of that same data. If within those 100 versions, you only changed a file once, then that file is only saved once in the initial backup and then once more on the version that it was changed. Pretty cool, right? Now I know I'm sounding like a broken record here, but restoration through hyper backup is easy peasy. Select a version, choose your restoration method, and voila, you've got your anime back. I've been running this setup for about a year now, and it's honestly been flawless. No hiccups, no errors, and it definitely has saved my butt a few times when I accidentally drag a folder somewhere and lose it. Don't act like you haven't done that before. And I hate that this is a sponsored video because I know you're all thinking that I'm only saying all this because of that, but I'm really not. I've tried other softwares and methods, but this has been by far the best. Let me know down in the comments what you're using and if you're happy with it. That's all I have for you today. If you like this video, then drop a like. Subscribe if you want to see more data shenanigans. I want to give a huge shout out to my YouTube members and my Patreons. You guys are my automatic, immutable backup with snapshots and easy restore functionality. And if you're still watching, your 5400 RPM hard drive. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.